DH curve of ferromagnetic material. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we will be discussing the viva voice of this experiment that is BH curve of ferromagnetic material. The first question is what is BH curve? So it is the plot of magnetic flux density and magnetic intensity. Next state the relation between B and H. The relation is given by the very popular equation that is B equals to mu naught H. Here B is my magnetic flux density, H is the magnetic intensity and mu naught is the permeability of free space having value 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 Weber per ampere meter. The next question can be what is magnetic intensity? It is denoted by the letter H and it tells about the strength of magnetic field at any given point or it can be defined as magnetic field produced by current flowing in the turns of solenoid which gives us the formula as H equals to N times I and the unit of magnetic intensity is ampere per meter the dimensions are as follows. What is intensity of magnetization? So it is denoted by the letter I and whenever a magnetic substance is placed in magnetic field then the material will acquire a magnetic moment. So the intensity of magnetization is nothing but the magnetic moment per unit volume that is I equals to M upon V. The SI unit of intensity of magnetization is ampere per meter. Next question, what are ferromagnetic substance? Now these are the substance which are strongly attracted by magnets and when a ferromagnetic substance is placed in magnetic field then they will get strongly magnetized in the direction of magnetic field. The examples are iron, nickel, cobalt. Now since this entire experiment deals with ferromagnetic materials so they can possibly ask you to state some properties of the ferromagnetic substances. So the properties are they have positive and large value of magnetic susceptibility. The second is they have permanent magnetic moment and in case of non-uniform magnetic field they will rapidly move from weaker magnetic field to the stronger magnetic field. Domain formation is a feature of which substance? The answer is ferromagnetic substance. If you remember the diagram in one domain we have all the atoms aligned in the same direction. If ferromagnetic substances are used in transformer then the requirements are the answer is high permeability and low hysteresis loss. What happens to ferromagnetic substance at Curie temperature? At Curie temperature these substance changes into paramagnetic substances. The Curie temperature for iron is 770 degrees Celsius and for nickel it is 369 degrees Celsius. Define hysteresis. So in minimum word it is the lagging of magnetization. Show the hysteresis curve or the hysteresis loop. So this is how the hysteresis curve looks like. Next question what is hysteresis loss? Hysteresis loss is determined by the BH curve and it shows the loss of energy in magnetizing and demagnetizing of the substance. The area of the loop gives the value of the hysteresis loss. What is retentivity? Also called as remanence and it is the property by virtue of which a substance retains its magnetism even in the absence of the magnetizing field as you can see in this graph. Last question, what is coercivity? Magnetizing field required to demagnetize the material is called coercivity. Or else magnetizing field is applied in opposite direction to remove the residual magnetism is called coercive field and the property is known as coercivity. So that was all about this video. Wish you all the very best for the YY exams and thank you for watching till the end.